hi everyone and thank you so much for tuning back into my channel for all the new subscribers you're very welcome my name is Lillian I talk more about anything that's health related well-being and a little bit of nursing because I'm a registered nurse please feel welcome today I want to talk about constipation this is a big problem that so many people suffer from and I want to discuss the causes of it. So, constipation is a digestive disorder where individuals experience difficulty or discomfort when passing stools, often resulting in infrequent or incomplete bowel movements. So, what are the causes? What causes constipation? Number one, low fiber intake. Diets low in fiber can contribute to constipation as fiber adds bulk to stool and helps it move more easily through the digestive tract. Number two, inadequate fluid intake. Dehydration can lead to harder stools that are more difficult to pass resulting in constipation. Number three, lack of physical activity. Sedentary lifestyles can slow down digestion and bowel movements, increasing the risk of constipation. Number four, ignoring the urge to have a bowel movement. Ignoring the natural urge to have a bowel movement can disrupt the body's normal bowel habits and lead to constipation. Number five, medications. Certain medications, including opioids, antacids containing aluminium or calcium, some antidepressants, and iron supplements can all cause constipation as a side effect. Number six, medical conditions. Chronic constipation can be a symptom of underlying medical conditions such as irritable bowel syndrome, diabetes, Parkinson's disease, and colorectal disorders. Number seven, changes in routine or lifestyle. Traveling, changes in diet or routine, pregnancy, and aging can all affect bowel habit and contribute to constipation. Number eight, neurological disorders. Neurological conditions that affect the nerves controlling bowel function, such as multiple cirrhosis or spinal cord injuries, can lead to constipation. Number nine, hormonal imbalances. Hormonal changes, such as those occurring during pregnancy or menstruation, can affect bowel function and lead to constipation in some individuals. Number 10. Psychological factors. Stress, anxiety and depression can influence bowel function and contribute to constipation in vulnerable individuals. It's very important to remember that constipation can vary from person to person and may have multiple contributing factors. Identifying and addressing the underlying cause of constipation is essential for effective management and relief of symptoms. If constipation persists or becomes severe, it's important you consult a healthcare professional for evaluation and appropriate treatment. Thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. Please, if you haven't subscribed already, consider subscribing, like this video, share it with others, your friends and family. And let me know in the comments section if you know other causes of constipation. And I will see you on my next one. Thank you guys. Take care. Bye. Yeah.